People took to the streets and cities all across the world over the weekend for the second annual Women's March. Tonight, the conversation shifted, continued in Youngstown on how to move forward after the marches. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed is in the studio. Yeah, guys, the ideas were widespread from country to country, but genuinely rang the same tune of ending sex sexual harassment and in the U.S. getting President Trump to hear their voice. Tonight, people got together for a Youngstown City Club panel to discuss how to move forward with these issues locally. I felt that it was important to let my voice be heard. Sometimes when your voice is not heard at the polls, there are other ways that you can let your disappointment. Just a few days after returning to Youngstown from walking in the Women's March, three panelists brought their ideas to the floor on how to move forward with women's rights. To see the women move across the country in such a grand fashion um, left a great impression that we are powerful. Judge Carla Baldwin moderated the panel for the nearly 100 people who showed up. Especially in today's climate and everything that's going on, I feel like it's really important to stand up for what you believe in and to support things like this, especially going on in the community. I want them to think about what they can do, whatever that is, whether it's join in a local march or write your local legislator. While the women's marches were widespread in ideas, tonight was about education, looking at the current state of women's rights and what the future might look like. Just become more educated and aware of what's going on so when you see these stories on the news, we do start to do a little bit of higher level thinking and thinking of the larger impact on our local society here. And people were also able to get up and share their ideas tonight. The City Club of the Mahoning Valley has panels on all different topics, and they do that a lot. You can check out the different ones coming up on our website, WKBN.com. In the studio, Molly Reed, WKBN 27, First News at 10.